Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back on the Cross-Continental America series up in Hamilton, where if you remember last time we discovered the only other steel mill on the map. We're not actually using that to make any steel, the other steel mill is just over the lake here in Pittsburgh and that steel has been used, we're transporting it if you remember rightly, down to uh, somewhere, can't quite remember where, Cincinnati. We're transporting it to Cincinnati to make goods and so we're going to be needing another steel mill to transport all the way over here to Seattle to make machines. Now what this is going to mean is that we'll have one steel mill out of the two for goods, one steel mill for machines and that is going to do the whole map because there's another goods factory over here but only these steel mills so it's a little bit like we're sort of limited to be perfectly honest with you with what we can produce but before we do that what I am going to do uh, is just have a quick look at how this steel mill is performing coal we are really struggling with obviously iron ore comes in by train so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, we're going to upgrade the roads first of all there we go and I imagine that you are going to be happy with that. There we go. It'll get converted, won't it, into, a, uh, into another road shortly. But we are going to, if we can, just change this into what trucks have we got available. We'll change it into your for coal, aren't you? And I don't think you carry anything else. So a dump truck. There we go. Take as much coal as you can, please. What's on their, uh, what's on their agenda? Is it just the two? Yeah, it's just the two. That's absolutely fine. So that's going to produce a little bit more coal and, uh, and get it to Pittsburgh anyway so that it can produce more steel. Lovely jubbly. Right, okie dokie. So we're going to have to find a way, good God, of uh, transporting the steel all the way over, uh, which is quite a distance actually to uh, to Seattle. Now we are going to use this because we've already got this this sort of hub here. Does this, this does actually reach the mill as well. And of course Seattle needs machines. I don't know how many other places need machines. Do you, do you need machines down here? Yep, Sacramento does. Uh, LA, San Diego, there we go. So there's there's quite a few places, Tucson, uh, that need machines. So uh, yeah, not Tucson. I was uh, I was informed on this. It's definitely Tucson. So that's what we're uh, that's what we're going with. I'm hoping you told me right, and you're not just trying to make me look like a moron. Right, okie dokie. So what we will have, we're going to struggle really, aren't we? Flipping heck. Um, we've got enough money. I think that if we flatten this, there we go. Ah, lovely. Right, we'll, we'll up the size and the strength, and we'll we'll just build an artificial sort of bit of bit of that there now are you going to accept that is the question well you're not quite big enough yet so we'll, we'll just flatten a bit more of you out there it's quite difficult to make this look good it's it's an artificial structure there we go and uh, you are fine there aren't you well what we will do there we go, we'll stick you on there uh, I mean buffalo this could actually end up with things running like passenger trains not stopping here, couldn't it? I mean, I mean, it really could. Uh, so what we will do actually is I shall uh, I'll I'll flatten you out there. There we go. We'll have a bit of that round there. So it's it's clearly man-made, isn't it? Can we can we not get you under the under the water? No, obviously not. Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll uh, we'll we'll improvise with that. There we go. So we've got you. Uh, right. Okay. I'll uh, I'll just. Just build that out there as well. That'll do. Oh, look at that. Uh, we need to connect it, of course, to the steel mill, because uh, we've done that before, haven't we, where you've not connected it, you blithering idiot, and uh, and it's all gone wrong. What they have done, of course, is built a steel mill right next to all this lovely residential zone in Hamilton. So uh, we are going to struggle. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll do. Right, okay. Now, where are we actually going to get... Uh, oh my lord, there's only one iron ore mine up at Duluth. Ah, right. Oh, that's no good. That is no good at all. Ugh. Right. So the iron ore from there, we could just run a bit of it over there, couldn't we? But then we may as well take the steel from this steel mill. We may as well, haven't we? 
We may as well just make it all in one. Okay, right, yeah. Uh, but should have really looked at that, Joe. I mean, the good news is that the, the town of wherever that is, Hamilton, can uh, can have a bit more space to expand now. Okay, you've, you've sort of wrecked that, but never mind, never mind. In fact, what we'll do, to apologise to the people of Hamilton for uh, for sort of wrecking their lovely canal, is we'll, uh, we'll build a bridge over there. Lovely, what sort of bridge? Uh, uh, one of those bridges, lovely. And we'll even do it in a, in a, there, look at that. That's nice, isn't it, with the black and the grey. And we'll just, there you go, you can, uh, you can get to both now. Isn't that nice? Buffalo and Hamilton, for the first time you can get there without having to go via the world. Right, okay, so change of plan then, everybody. We're going to be building some trains from here. So let's get another platform in. We'll build it down the middle like this. Lovely. Okie dokie. So where are we going to be going? We're obviously going to be going up here. Uh, so we shall have... Should we dual track the whole way? I think that would be a sensible thing to do. But with no catenary. We don't need catenary. We'll, uh, we'll have a bit of, bit of cross action there. Lovely. Bit, of, bit around there like that. Excellent. Straight across the bridge. Yep, keep it going. And straight up. Is that going to work? Yes, it is going to work. Um, right, okay. You're just going to come straight like that, aren't you? So we'll, we'll just build that like that. That really works. Oh no, that's hideous. Uh, mm. Right, okay, what we'll do, we'll pause it just so the trains don't get upset. That's clearly flat, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll build this round like that. Keep it flat. Yeah, you see, you like that, don't you? Uh, keep that flat. There's a signal in the way. Yep. Keep it flat. Just, just keep it flat. You can. Construction is possible. It, it's so possible. Hmm. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Right, you're going sort of... Right, hang on. Yeah. Because it's going up and over a mound there, whereas we could just go through it, couldn't we? There we go. Look at that. That's better. Better. And it means our freight trains don't have to go up a huge hill and back down again. There's a, there's a little hill instead. That's lovely. And it means that there's, uh, yeah, that, that's a lot better. We can upgrade this signal to a three. Yeah, and we'll have one like that. Lovely. And then this is an excellent time to test out our auto-sig mod. So, uh, signal spacing every kilometre. Yes. So is, is that, how do, how do you do it? One way? Yeah, slight spacing. I... I do not understand. The autosig, yes. Oh, you have to actually click yes. Hang on, what's... What happens if I if I do that? The, there's no... Every 100... Every 10 metres. Maybe you actually have to just place the signal. What about every, every 500 metres? That strikes me as a... Ah, there you go. Now it's thinking about it. But that could be because the autosig... Is uh, is auto saving? I thought I'd change you to do that every half an hour. Why? Why are you? Uh... Yeah, you see this this auto save, not auto save, auto sig, is good. Apart from the fact it hasn't sigged, or has it? Has it? Uh, no, it hasn't. Why? Why aren't you? Do I have to do something here? Clearly, I'd. I'd... There is something that I am missing, isn't it? Replace? Backward. No. Just, yes, every every 500 metres. Crack on with it. Do it. Ah, now weirdly enough, that has done it. So are you going to have... No, you've... You've not done it. I have no idea why this isn't doing it, but uh, but never mind. How bizarre. Right, okay, so we've got some signals all the way down here. Very odd, isn't it? Very strange. Although we do have a signal that I put that there. Right. Hmm. So that's good. It's fine, isn't it? We've got the iron ore coming in. 
Uh, we do have another coal mine that we can use for there. Where is the other coal mine, just out of interest? Harrisburg. Where are you? Oh, you really are quite close as well, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, we're ten minutes in and you've only built a little bit of track. That's not good. Right, okay, so which route are we going? I think maybe Cheyenne, Salt Lake. It would be good to go over the top. Because then we can run them past uh, Spokane. Somebody did tell me how to say that. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Uh, we could run them past there, straight over the top. Because then we can join it back in here. Which, of course, is on that main line. That would be an excellent idea. Uh, what have we got here? This is this singular cargo line, which, again, we wouldn't have an awful lot to build. But that's quite low down. How would we be... We could send it cross-country... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of cross-country. Obviously not the, uh, the train operating company in the UK. The uh, cross-country as in actually physically going across the country. Right, okay. That's not particularly fancy, but we'll... Uh, right, no auto-sig now. Because we're just shoving a junction in. There we go. Now this is going to go all the way across here. And we'll, we'll couple it on to there. Look at that. It's not tunnelling though, I'm refusing to tunnel. Uh, what are you? You're a terminus station, of course you are. Of course I built you as a terminus station. No, hang on. No, you're not a terminus station, you are a, a station with these on the end. Right, okay. Uh, so, we're obviously going for the, uh, the chasm. That's looking great. Now, bring you down here. Yep. Straight round, like that. Lovely. Bit of uh, bit of bridge action over here. This is of course going over our, uh, our our main passenger line for the RE1. God, doesn't that seem a long time ago? We'll build you round here. It's going up quite a steep hill, though, isn't it? Hmm. What about if we if we do that? And if we build it like that, it actually doesn't look as terrible. Like that. There we go. I think that will that will look all right eventually. <laughs> eventually, it looks absolutely rancid. But what it means is that you can be going uphill like that. We can keep all the warehouse bits and pieces on there because we can. Let's face it. And you should look all right if I do that. It looks awesome. It looks absolutely fantastic. And you built a junction on a hill. You know what? Well done, you. Every 500 metres, go for it. Now it's cross. Oh, because I haven't got the... Uh, I, yeah, there we go. There we go, 50, that'll do. No, and no, there we go. I still don't really understand what I'm doing wrong. Autosig, yes. Do I hold shift? Ah, right, there, that makes sense. Okay, no, uh, it it did, and then it doesn't anymore. It did go in one way. Do you have to, does it just do in front, I wonder? Hmm, I do wonder this. Maybe it just does in front, so you have to skip down to the other end. Right, what this is going to do is it's going to be a grand viaduct there, and I'm hoping, if we keep that flat, oh no, I'd... I'd can we... What on earth's happened now? There you go. Can we have a suspension bridge? We can have a suspension bridge. That is a completely ridiculous and over-engineered suspension bridge. We can have it in silver, black. I think orange works quite well, but what we do need to do is get rid of this road. Yep, a bit of, uh, bit of that. Straight over. Can we, can we be flat? Lovely. Yeah, I want, I want that orange bridge. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. Fit for freight trains, you know, spending all that money. We might get passenger services running over here. You just never know, do you? I mean, look at that. That is... Oh, hang on. Do you know what? We, we should have used this sort of bridge in the Piddlemouth Coast, shouldn't we? Because there was that really tall bridge, wasn't there? Right, we're going over Helena and Spokane. Mm -hmm. 
like that. That'll do. We don't need any more suspension bridges because I think one is enough. But what we are going to do is have that as a chasm because I don't believe in massive great big tunnels. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, this line in real life would, I think... Um, hang on, are we... Uh, yeah, we're, we're still running flat. I think this line in real life would, would wiggle a bit more. What's this? This is just a giant tunnel, is it? We'll, we'll keep it chasmy. That that fantastic word, chasmy. And then Helena can be here. Helena Station can be here. What if I just do that? See, that would work. No, it's too easy, I think, to do that. And we have the money. I mean, it's what? Oh, hang on, we actually don't have quite as much money as I thought we did. Never mind. Right, we'll just backtrack a little bit. Now, this is going to go up there like that, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. You're going to be a, a a nice bridge like that. I mean, to be fair, most of it is fairly fast running there, isn't it? And well, as fast as our freight trains will allow us to go. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we're going to go a bit of that. That is lovely. Right, if we if we upgrade you to that. And again, we're going to be able to run passenger down here anyway, aren't we? Because you know we can. Uh, right, you could be a cutting slash chasm. You can't, so you're going to have to be a tunnel. Well, do you know what? We can have the odd tunnel every now and then, can't we? That can go to there. It's going to look brilliant. Cutting through the landscape. That looks less brilliant, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll just have a bit of smoothing. Get the, uh, the smoothing gun on him there. Lovely stuff. Look at that, all smooth. It still looks absolutely dreadful, doesn't it? But not as dreadful, may I remind you, as that. Yep, you might all be critical, but it's not as dreadful as that. So, uh, we're going to go with a normal level crossing, I think. Are we? Yep, we'll have a, a few barriers. Yep, a half barrier. There's nothing safer than a half barrier on a level crossing. Apart from, you know, a full barrier. We go. We'll bring you across there, because this could also be Spokane's, um, like, main cargo drop-off, couldn't it? Yeah, it's got bricks, but we could deliver bread here, maybe? I don't know. It would be implying that I'd thought this through at all, which, of course, I haven't. Right, that would be, that would be lovely, because you're tunnelling under that bit of road. That'd be nice as well, you know, a bit of... That looks good. I like that. Right, now to do the other side... I mean, that is awfully close to the edge there, isn't it? But we'll allow it. We will allow that. Right, we'll just build it straight across. No, okay, you snap into there. And then we'll, we'll keep you going. We're going to have to smooth all this out, obviously, aren't we? I mean, hell, we've spent so much money on this project. But I'm sure you'll agree, it is a project worth spending the money on. Look at that. Right, okay, straight under... You've done it wrong. Oh, for... This always happens. Yeah, I need to do the, the autosave again. Look at that. Why? I think there's been an update, hasn't there? There we go. 30 minutes. And keep 10 of them. Yeah, treat yourself. That'll do. Well, the, the railway is there, albeit wrong. Right. You blithering imbecile. Right, okay. That should do. Is that going to look wrong? Now it looks absolutely fine. It looks like I intended that to happen all along. Right. Now I want to test something, for obvious reasons. Autosig, yes. So it's done all the signals in front of it, but not behind it. Hmm. Because I'm going to now go like that, and it's going to have done... Aha! I have worked out the auto signaling. Took quite a while to work that out, didn't it? But we've done it. Better late than never. And, of course, Calgary, Helena, will we'll sort some sort of passenger line 
from there. The, the freight line, this really is like the main line. We could even have high speed trains flying down here eventually. What was a freight line turned out to be one of the most important lines in the history of the game. Yeah, the line that links North America and Canada to other bits of North America and Canada. Sorted. Absolutely sorted. Right, we need a train. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll set the line going. There you go, Pittsburgh. All the way to, and I'm hoping that it's going to work. I can't see why it wouldn't work, but Seattle North. And it runs on the correct line, which is always good. So this will be a train. Seattle Steel. Now, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, where are we? Uh, so Indianapolis is there. Yep, that's where the goods have been made. The goods have been shipped. There's not a lot of steel coming in there. I don't think we actually have enough steel going there. still too much coal. There is more steel though to be fair, so uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have you all replaced with uh, you can't carry steel. Just all cargo, there we go. Have you all replaced. Take all the steel please and, and you know, get to it. We need a train. We'll go for, uh, we'll go for the train down here. And it will be like a really long train. So what have we got available to us? We've got that electric thing. I mean, that is going to have to be the one, isn't it? Uh, the Union Pacific Challenger. One can only wonder why we don't use the Union Pacific Challenger with the Union Pacific coaches. That would make sense, would it not? Hmm. We'll sort that later. Yeah. Right, the Alco Challenger. Uh, so we will use this one because it doesn't have anything on it. There we go. 13 million per vehicle. Good lord. Ooh, what's that? Lehigh Valley. That's nice. I like that. That's that's good. Right, so we need a metal carrying thing. You will carry metal. Canadian Pacific. I think Canadian Pacific because we're going to Seattle and Vancouver. How long are the how long are the stations? Are they, are they 360? I can't remember. Uh, 320. God, good job we didn't get one that long, isn't it? 309. There we go. 340 capacity. We'll have one of them. Train. Uh, Seattle Steel. Off you go. This is going to take a while. Oh wow! Look at this. This is a serious piece of American kit here. Oh, we've just unlocked the big boy. Of course. And we have the, the Urban Games 4884 Big Boy. That is a very loud train. Good lord. I mean, it's a very big train, isn't it? So, you know, you can you can sort of let him off a little bit for, uh, for being big and loud. I'm hoping that the steel, like, stacks to the top. Because, you know, some of these steels, they only go, like, a third of the way up. And it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? The, uh, the carriages look a little bit ridiculous. If I just speed that up a little bit there. This this is a long train. Not quite as long as I would like, but I, I can make the station longer. Right, okay, we're, uh, we're going to leave him for the time being. He can, uh, he can keep pottering away. Uh, right, Cincinnati, you've got enough... Got enough goods being produced, haven't you? 40 goods. You can carry more than that, but uh, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we need we need more coal. So what are you doing about that? You are transporting coal, I'll, I'll grant you that one. If I fast forward here, you'll see the coal is being collected faster than it's being produced. Which is a good thing. Uh, does that mean that we need more coal from here? I think it does. I've never really experimented with multiple industries taking to, like, one factory. I've never experimented with that because it's always gone wrong. What is that piece of road doing that? I don't know. Did I build that? Who knows? Uh, so, we'll have... We've got you there. We can't upgrade that, can we? Because there's going to be a collision. What we'll do is we'll upgrade you. 
Oh no, what's that? That's awful. Delete that. Can we have a slightly bigger piece of road there? Would, would that be fine? Yes, it would. How are we getting out of Pittsburgh? Well, I think that we're going to go for that. We're going to come off like this. We're going to go around there. Yeah, lovely. And that also stops that bridge from making any sort of road off here, making it a horrid steep. Well, it's sort of, I mean, there might be one there, but we'll, we'll go this way. Yeah, lovely. And we'll just, we'll just go cross country like that. There we go, straight through Harrisburg. You can, uh, you can go for a bit of that. Look at that steep hill, flipping Nora. It's just what you want to send a, a fully laden coal truck over a hill like that. There we go. Nice and... Uh, God, it's like life on the ocean waves, isn't it? So we will have a, uh, a, a one of these. 30 metres, yeah, one and zero. That'll do. Coal. And uh, we will drop you off there. So Lower Pittsburgh actually needs a... Uh, I don't know. What have we got? So this is picking up, obviously, isn't it? That's where the steel's coming from, yeah, and this can be dropping off. So we'll we'll have you dropping off at the same place. Uh, so truck, Pittsburgh, coal, one. <laughs> there we go. And then that would be line one, wouldn't it? So truck, oh, without a capital K, Pittsburgh, coal, two. Now, this could either uh, sort of demolish all the demand we have there and sort of split it evenly or it could not do that which would be good I'm hoping that we'll pull a massive crowd of vehicles from a, a, a big crowd of coal a crowd of coal that's not what you're wanting to say is it come on uh, right okay where are we coal I'm gonna go out on a limb and have 20 of you Perhaps that's too many, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Pittsburgh Coal 2. Start producing coal, my friend. Oh, the shipment has gone up. What have we got here? Five, six. Yeah, okay. There's quite a bit of that going. Where are they? They're all down there. Lovely. There is a lot of coal being produced here. And I'm enjoying that. I just don't think that this is going to be able to make enough steel. There's quite a problem. Oh no, why is the Duluth crude oil, why does it still have a problem? No path? Of course you've got a path. What are you saying there's no path? There is a path. This is a very nice path. I've put you in there. Oh, because you're, yeah. There we go. They're all kicking off because they're not connected anymore. Who's Who's got a problem now? You have no path. You do. Turn around. Oh, is it because you're ever so slightly too long? Is that what you're kicking off about? For crying out loud. Right, delete that. And we'll build you from there. There you go. Are you, are you going to be happier with that? Just ever so slightly. There. No. 40. 40. 40. How's that? Oh, there you go. You're fine with that. Oh, what's happening now? <laughs> Who's kicking off now? Oh, the towns again. Well, we can live with the towns kicking off. Uh, we'll fix that in the next episode. Now, you've actually got some coal on you, which is good. And we have lots of coal here with the trucks. What are you doing? I have no idea is the answer. Some of them are going round again, which is, you know, why not? So we've got steel waiting, which is obviously excellent. That's what we want to hear. We've got iron ore trains going, we've got iron ore trains coming back again. The problem with that is that now they're very close indeed. So we've got the iron ore, yeah, lovely, and the coal trucks are making their way in. Look at that! That is absolutely awesome. I'm pleased with that, and it appears that the demand of coal is still the same from both, so obviously we just are demanding a lot of production here. There you go, if we, uh, if we click this there, the coal is still being produced. Uh, faster, oh, it's been used faster than we're bringing it, which is excellent. This is going up. Steel is producing. We need like 300 on there for this train to be full. 
Where is this train? Is it anywhere nearby? It's um, it's going the wrong way. Okay, the Seattle Steel is going that way first. Clever. Getting a wriggle on, isn't he? Apart from the fact he's stopping behind this. Of course. Yeah, well, there we go. That is where we're going to leave it for today. In the next episode, we are going to have a little look at how that's progressing. And, of course, Seattle Steel, what do we need? We need wood as well. So we're going to be looking into producing a bit of lumber. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do click that like button. It's always appreciated by myself. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series and haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe because, you know, it's the best way to keep up with the goings on of cross-continental America. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.